Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Chow, Donkers the Born, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News room update where today we're going over to Six Flags America and we're going to be taking a look at Whistle Stop Park and why the rising attractions are not listed on the map on the official Six Flags app. Now before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and our social media. We do have our Chow Chat series as well, so hopefully we'll get some more more interviews for that series make sure you also leave your video suggestions your shout outs and also your questions for our subscriber Q&A for when we celebrate and when we hit 2,000 subscribers use the hashtag question before or after your question let's get loads of them sent in I don't mind loads being sent in now uh, even a couple of hundred subs away from you know 2,000 subs I'm fine with that I'm fine doing any amount of questions get loads and loads of questions in even if it's already been asked on a previous video I check it over just in case but I can still ask, answer them again and for now guys let's get into this video so basically whistle stop park is a section of the park. It's one of the two main kids areas along with Looney Tunes Movie Town at Six Flags America and basically the rides that usually have like an orange dot or something to say they're listed is not listed on the Whistle Stop Park. Now this is just a little thing. This is just a little um, thing to recognize and the reason I bring this up is because it kind of fuels the speculation even further that Whistle Stop Park could be removed for a 2021 attraction, whether it's an area re-theme or a complete removal uh, for some kind of new major project. So, um, it's a very interesting one. It's a very hard one to think about, really. Um, so, obviously, we know about Whistle Stop Park. I spoke about it in the last video, the stuff about some electrical work taking place, and there's been some marking spotted around the park, apparently, uh, around that area. Uh, which leads to the potential removal of the Whistle Stop Park area. So, obviously, Whistle Stop Parks have been going quite out of date in the Six Flags chain. Obviously, Whistle Stop Parks used to be known as Thomas Town, themed to Thomas the Tank Engine for 2010. And then 2011, it was rethemed after a season at America uh, into Whistle Stop Park. Uh, and I'm guessing that was the same with the rest of them as well. Uh, but. Obviously, we spoke about the rumours about some electrical work taking place and about this whole removal for a potential new project. Uh, and this kind of, like I said, fuels the speculation even further. So, obviously, the 2019 map is still the official map because we haven't really started the 2020 season yet um, because of the fact of the pandemic. So, obviously, things like Harley Quinn Spin Sanity won't be on there because that'll be Extreme Skyfly because that was officially announced to close, uh, even though we all knew it was coming. Uh, for Harley Quinn's mentality, we knew it was going, uh, but it wasn't officially announced. Uh, but, obviously, that's still on the map. However, Whistle Stop Park is not having any rides listed. So, on your screen now, that is a screenshot of uh, Whistle Stop Park officially not listed with any of the rides. And um, I kind of wanted to talk about this a bit more, really, and sort of try and get your thoughts as well. So, obviously, Whistle Stop Park owned some... Many great kids attractions like the Whistle Stop Whirly Birds, Happy Junction, uh, the Whistle Stop Train, you know, um, the Whistle Stop Park Playground, loads of other fantastic kids attractions and family rides. Um, and it's sort of a discussion really as to what you think could replace it. Now, obviously, there are two main replacements. There is an area re theme where you go into the DC Super Friends. Of course, I'll talk a bit more about that in a little bit. Or you remove it entirely and you put in a new coaster. Now. If I was to go the new coaster out, I'd be looking at an RMC Raptor, a clone of Wonder Woman, um, which I think is coming to St. Louis as well. I think that's going to be coming to Six Flags St. Louis uh, on the old Tidal Wave site, or the Splash Boats apparently, according to Reddit. Uh, <laughs> but uh, from what we saw on the plans months ago, and I spoke about those plans uh, in a video, I personally think that uh, we are going to see a Raptor at St. Louis. Obviously, Magic Mountain's getting the clone of Jersey Devil rather than Wonder Woman. Uh, um, re replacing Green Lantern First Flight and Tidal Wave uh, at Magic Mountain for 2021. So we've got two Raptors coming. I think this year could be the year... Well, next year, 2021, could be the year of the Raptors. And I think America could potentially go down the Raptor route. If not, it could be a Max Force-style launch coaster, which is, you know, perfect. It's next to Joker's Jinx. It'd be nice to have a, a launch coaster versus launch coaster battle. You know, it's like a battle between launch coasters. Um... It would be like the full throttle of the park, you know, 
uh, I think Full Throttle should have gone to Six Flags America, personally. Uh, because I think like Magic Mountain didn't really need Full Throttle. I think they could have gone down uh, a different route with it, especially since they've now got West Coast Racers. I feel like Full Throttle could do better at a different park or do more success at a different park. It's still success at Magic Mountain, but I think that a park like America or St. Louis or somewhere like that could have had more success with it. New England, they were up for a... I think we've discussed for a couple of years that New England needed a multi-launch coaster uh, and over Georgia as well. Uh, so I think that it would have been a bigger success at New England over Georgia, America, St. Louis, La Ronde, uh, The Great Escape, Frontier City, Darien Lake, um, any of those parks really. Um, but it's still a, a decent success at Magic Mountain. So I think that a multi-launch like a Max Force style air launch coaster by SNS would be perfect for Six Flags America. If not, the Raptor Roo, even if it's a clone of Wonder Woman, it wouldn't exactly be a problem because it's still a coaster from scratch. Um, so I think that's it's a coaster that people have been waiting for. And it's even though it's not RMC the boss, which I think will happen in the next few years, I think it'll happen either end of this decade or beginning of the next one. Um, I think that a Raptor is good enough for now. I think in terms of major coaster timelines, I think that a Raptor would be a good filler between the last coaster they added and... The next big project which in my opinion would be the rmc treatment of the boss um and i think they'll do a good job with that but i think before the rmc boss i think that a raptor coaster even if it's a clone of wonder woman golden lasso coaster at fiesta texas it would still be a good coaster a good thrilling coaster it's a low capacity coaster ride uh perfect for smaller parks and i think that six flags america being you know realistically the smallest of the uh well what or one of the smaller six flags parts compared to the likes of magic mountain and great adventure i think that a raptor coaster is perfect for this park so maybe they don't even go with one train maybe they have the wonder woman golden lasso coaster clone but they have it so it's two people per train rather than one I, it's just something to think about just to you know revolutionize the train design of these raptor coasters so uh, so it's mixing a little bit of Jersey Devil here with the with the train capacity being bigger. Uh, so it would be a nice idea. Obviously, the multi-launch is a great idea as well, either by Premier or SNS, just anyone. Uh, but of course, the other route away from the coasters is a DC Super Friends area. So obviously, that is obviously with the with with Whistle Stop Park sort of being right next to Gotham City with Joker's Jinx and obviously Harley Quinn's Spin Sanity that's going to be on the old Sky Coaster site this year, uh, which is their Zamperla Discovery Giant Discovery ride. Um, you know, it would be a nice sub area of Gotham City. I think it would become like a sub category area of Gotham City with the the main thrill stuff being in Gotham City. Then you have the the family stuff in the DC Super Friends. And I think they can do some uh, great re themes. Maybe replace a couple of attractions. Maybe Happy Junction gets replaced by a new flat ride, uh, or maybe they use the space behind Whistle Stop Park to expand on it and maybe create a kids coaster um, to sort of bring in the DC theme. Uh, you look at the Joker Funhouse coaster that was part of the uh, DC Super Friends themed area that came to over Georgia, I think, back in 2016. Um, you know, that was a good kids coaster. So, you know, I think so, like a couple of new attractions to, you know, freshen up along with the retheme of the area would be a nice addition. But I think, you know, I think diehard America fans would love a coaster next year. But I think it's very, very hard because, of course, this pandemic, you got to look at Harley Quinn's Insanity. Is that going to get delayed until next year? Uh, is that going to be added along with the new attraction for 2021? We don't know. Um, I think this pandemic's put a lot of things into perspective in terms of new attractions for next year, especially at the Six Flags parks. Uh, but I think with them starting to open up a little bit time after time, I think that uh, it, it looks like we're going to see new 2021 attractions and not really a media day for 2020 attractions. So it is going to be an interesting watch but uh, i thought i'd just share with you that news uh race hudson i think his name is on youtube and of course in the coast force forum where he uh puts things about Amer six flags america 2021 uh i want to say thank you to you for the screenshot um i did obviously you saw on your screen it wasn't his screenshot i did do my own uh google image uh, well not google image my own screenshot from my own six flags app uh, that I downloaded. By the way, I will leave a link in the description down below for you to download the Six Flags app. I really recommend it. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park newsroom update. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, see you down this YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.